we can use our stick to roll it out. We'll use some more pink candy mold to make our donut frosting. This donut looks really good! Let's add some sprinkles to our donut. Yum! We'll make one more candy art. Let's get the blue candy mold and white candy mold to make a lollipop. We'll twist these two candy molds like this. That looks good. Let's use this yellow candy mold to make a lollipop stick. We can't forget the sprinkles. Everything looks so delicious! Thanks for watching Awesome Disney Toys! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you the crazy do-it-yourself gummy candy kit. Here's the front of the packet. Let's start by opening up the packet. Here are all the molds that we'll be using. Here's our base candy mix. And here are the other candy mixes. We get one little squeezer. And here's the tray that we'll be using. Here's a fork. We'll need this. We get a crown mold a swan mold, a star mold, and a lion mold. Now let's place the first mix, the blue powder, in the part of the tray that's labeled 1. Now we'll put our yellow candy mix into number 2. And we'll put our third candy mix, the red one, into number three. Now we have to squeeze water into all of them. We'll also pour water into this part of the tray as well. Now we'll use the fork to mix up all the colors.
Now let's grab a little bit of blue and yellow to see what color it makes. It makes green. Now let's grab a little bit of red and yellow to see what color it makes. We got orange. Now let's test out blue and red. We got the color purple. Now let's pour in some red and a little bit of the water to make some pink. You can mix the red, yellow, and blue to make all these cool colors. Now let's add the main candy mix into the tray. We'll use the fork to even it out. We'll start by making a lion. Let's add a little green. Now let's add some purple. And we'll add some blue. Let's add some pink too. We have one colorful lion. Now it's time for us to make a swan. Let's add some orange. Now we'll add some yellow. And some purple. These look really good. Now let's take them off the tray so that we can dry it. I totally thought the pig was gonna pop there! Nice! I got red again! And it's three! Ooh, this is getting close. <laughs> He's definitely gonna explode soon. Oh, I wonder what it is. Oh, he got a multicolor. Wow, Telebro got four again. Uh oh, Telebro might beat me. Two, three, four. Oh man, Telebro won. Come on, Pop. Couldn't you have one more hamburger in you? I was this close. Woo! That's right. The victory is mine. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Now let's clean up. If you look behind Pop the Pig, there's a little compartment. You just lift it up and clear everything out. Oh, there are the two Shopkin bags. Clear everything else out. And once you do that, if you want to start all over, just press the pig's head to deflate the belly. <laughs> it's soft again. And then just buckle his shirt back on. Let's see who these Shopkins are. Hey, it's Lippy Lips! Sorry you were in the pig's belly for so long! And the next one, it's Wobbles! Glad you came out safe too! Thank you, thank you so much for rescuing us, Telebro! Yeah, you're our hero! <laughs> no problem at all, bro-chachas!
just doing my job. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you crazy, poppin' cookin' Nary Candyland. We'll be making our own candy art today. This sounds fun. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. Here's everything this candy kit provides for us. We get a blue candy mold, a pink candy mold, a black candy mold, a white candy mold, and a yellow candy mold. We also get some rainbow sprinkles. And here's a stick roller. And here's a tray with all the molds that we can use. Let's cut all four sides so that we can use the molds. There are a bunch of cool things we can design. Let's start by using the white candy mold so that we can make a rabbit candy. This should be good. Here's the head. Here are the rabbit ears. Nice! We'll use the black candy mold to make the eyes. The pink candy mold will be used for the nose and the mouth. And we'll use the yellow sprinkles for the whiskers. This looks really good! Now let's make some grapes. We don't have purple, but we can mix blue and pink to get the purple color. Cool! Just roll them into little balls like this. Now let's mix the yellow and blue candy mold so that we can make green. This is awesome! We'll be using the green for the grape leaf. Now let's make our grape.
That grape looks delicious! Now let's mix the pink and yellow candy mold so that we can make a donut. and the ring around his necklace will make green and yellow. For his ball, we'll make it yellow and pink. Nice, we're all done. Here's everything we made today. This was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here. And today, I'm bringing you a bunch of surprises using this microwave. We're also gonna do some Play-Doh magic. I'll start it off with some yellow Play-Doh. So here I have a brand new can of Play-Doh. See? Untouched. I'll put it back in the container and then place it in the microwave. And now we wait. was going to turn into some type of food. But nope, still just a can of Play-Doh. Or is it? It looks like our Play-Doh melted into slime. Magic! This slime is so squishy and stretchy. And I think there's something inside of it. Oh my gosh, it's an ultra rare Shopkin! This one's name is Mini Mint. Now let's check out this blue Play-Doh. Once again, I'll open it and show you that this is a brand new can of Play-Doh. We'll just put it in our microwave. It still looks like a regular can of Play-Doh, but inside, it's all melty! The Play-Doh turned into slime! Oh, I definitely see something in this one. It's a My Little Pony! This one's name is Rainbow Dash, and it's my favorite My Little Pony! Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Next up, we have purple. Just regular purple Play-Doh. Let's see if we can create some more magic with our microwave. I hope it creates more slime! And it did! Look at how purple this slime is! And it's so stretchy too!
Let's see what's hiding in our purple slime. Oh, hi, Daisy Duck. This is a Disney Tsum Tsum, and they're super cute. Next, we'll do some pink Play-Doh. Once again, it's just a regular can of Play-Doh. But once we put it in our microwave, you never know what's gonna come out. Oh, that's a lot of slime. Let's see what we have inside of our slime. I can't believe it! We got another ultra rare Shopkin. This one's name is Delish Donut. Next up, we have some green Play Doh. I'll take it out to prove to you that it's just regular Play-Doh. We created more slime! I love the color of this slime. It reminds me of Flubber. This slime is just so much fun. Let's see who's hiding inside of our green slime. Oh, these Minecraft characters thought they could camouflage in here. Our last can is going to be this orange one. Once again, we just have a brand new can of orange Play-Doh. And then we put it in our microwave. We created orange slime. This slime is the exact color of my nails. And inside of our slime, it looks like we have a little mouse or something. Oh, it's Gus from Cinderella. This is a Disney Tsum Tsum. Here's all of our surprise toys. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Let's make a crown. We'll add some blue. And some yellow. Now let's make the final piece, the star. Let's take both of these out too so that they can dry. Once the candy is dry, you can use the fork to take it out of the mold. We'll do it for all four of these.
That looks really good. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks! Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here, and today I'm super excited to bring you Poppin' Cookin' Oikaki Cayenne Land Candy! We're gonna be making some cute candy, and then we're gonna paint them using this color chart. The back has instructions for us. Alright, we'll start by cutting this open. Here's our tray of molds. It's a little bit hard to see, but there's a star, seal, and two fishes. Here's our yellow powder, our red powder, and our blue one. And here's our candy. And this is the tray we're going to be using to mix and hold all of our colors. This tray also holds our tools. We just need to cut them out along these lines. First, we're going to cut out our spoon. And at the end of our spoon is our measuring cup. And now we're going to cut out our brush tools. We just bend the spoon so it's easier to pick up things. And we're going to cut this in half so we'll have a thicker one and a thinner one. Next we'll fill our molds with this candy. This candy kind of feels like a hard starburst. Or if you guys ever had Haichu, it feels just like that. It tastes like that too. Let's press the candy all the way down so it gets all the detail. Now that that's done, we just pop them out. Here's our seal. Our fishies and a star. Now let's mix our powder. We'll start with the red. And now the yellow. And the blue. Now we'll put one scoop of water in each. And I'll use my spoon to mix it. This red one's more like a pink, but that's okay. After I mix it, I'm gonna scoop some of the pink in two of these containers. I'll use those to mix with other colors later. Now I'm going to put some of the yellow in the pink and some of the yellow on its own. And we're going to do the same thing with the blue. I'll put some of the blue in the pink and some of the blue in the yellow. Now we'll mix the colors together and see what they turn into. Yellow and blue 
make green. Pink and blue make purple. Pink and yellow make orange. Here's all of our colors. Now we can start painting. We'll do the star first. I'm going to make the majority of it yellow. I'm using our little plastic brush. And I'll do the little star in the middle, purple. Time for our fishy. We'll give him a blue eye, a blue tail, and then we'll alternate with some yellow. It's a little bit hard to paint with these plastic brushes, so just take your time and stay in the lines. Now for our other fishy. We'll use some orange. And some purple. We have to be really careful around the eye, so we don't mix the colors together. And last but not least, our seal. We'll make his body blue.